the signing of the agreement on the establishment of a joint commission uh, between South Africa and Pakistan is indeed a milestone to further strengthen the cordial bilateral relationship that exists between our two countries, even as we struggle against the COVID-19 pandemic. Your Excellency, as you know, South Africa shares a special relationship with Pakistan, built on the pillars of solidarity, friendship, and cooperation. Our partnership has evolved over the years and expanded to include strong people-to-people -people link links and new and exciting opportunities. In this regard, we look forward to the fifth meeting of the South Africa-Pakistan Joint Commission to further strengthen bilateral relations aimed at expanding our cooperation and enhancing trade and investment opportunities. The potential to strengthen economic relations between our two countries is, I believe, enormous. Both our countries are considered regional markets with large and diverse resources, with total bilateral trade between our two countries in 2020, a difficult year, amounting to just over 14 billion rands. South Africa considers Pakistan an important partner in business cooperation, and we are eager to strengthen trade and investment relations, particularly, as you'd be aware, High Commissioner, in the areas of renewable energy, which is a huge undertaking for us, agriculture, very important to South Africa, in higher education, science and technology, and within the health sector. South Africa also regards Pakistan as an important partner to jointly advance the development agenda of the Global South, and we will continue to align positions in global fora to pursue common goals that better address the needs of the developing world. Your Excellency, our countries have recorded solid progress in strengthening bilateral relations across a number of areas, and my department hopes that the signing of the Joint Commission Agreement will give further impetus to our existing bilateral relations, that it will expand the range and scope of cooperation and address any hurdles that there may be in our path to grow greater cooperation, trade, and investment. Your Excellency, I'd like to conclude by assuring you of South Africa's eagerness to advance our bilateral relations with Pakistan. And I'm really delighted at the significance of the agreement we are about to sign here today. And with those brief remarks, I once more welcome you to the department and the ministry, and I now invite you to make your remarks. Thank you, Excellency, for very kind words. Before I emphasize the importance of this agreement that we are going to sign, which, as you very correctly remarked, is a milestone in our relations. Let me express my personal honor and happiness on being able to sign this agreement, this important agreement, alongside you. I consider it as a personal pleasure and an honor. Thanks for giving me that honor. Excellency, the process of joint commission, it has been continuing now for more than two decades. Although we all know the process has not been running at the pace that is commensurate with the political warmth of our bilateral relations. And I am sure this fine signing of formal agreement will set the things on track. I really and eagerly look forward to convening of the fifth Joint Commission meeting. A very positive thing on this in this agreement is that it is open to all areas which are mutually agreed upon. Excellency, why I say this agreement is coming at a very important agreement and coming at a very opportune time is because 
at this point in time, the government of Pakistan has embarked on two major initiatives. One is a very major initiative, a very robust initiative, which is the Engage Africa, realizing the economic potential and the importance of this continent, particularly South Africa. The Prime Minister has launched a very robust and solid concrete initiative. We have very recently opened up several new diplomatic missions as a part of this initiative in, on the African continent. And the second is the new Pakistan's new national narrative. That narrative is actually built around the fact that Pakistan needs to tap and unlock its geo-economic potential. Its geo-economic potential which puts Pakistan at a geographical location where it straddles, straddles Central Asia, West Asia, South Asia, and a very strong, very strong connectivity in the form of China-Pakistan economic corridor as a part of BRI with the China in the north. Both these initiatives, which are the driving forces of the government of Pakistan at the moment, are converge at economic agenda. And that is where I, your words that we need to enhance economic agenda, they come like a music to my ears. That is in 100% sync, sync and it resonates with our priorities. Economic agenda is very, very important. And Excellency, thanks for pointing out some very important areas like renewable energy, agriculture. Energy is already an area on which the two countries are deeply engaged in terms of coal imports. Excellency, to that I would add market access issues, which are very important because of the complementarity that exists between the two countries in terms of particularly the climate and in agricultural sector because when you are producing summer fruit, we are producing winter. So that complementarity obviously exists. Excellency, we are also extremely grateful to South Africa for its support at international fora on several issues. We really, really appreciate it. Excellency, when I talk of the geoeconomic potential, it requires peace in the region, peace in Pakistan, peace in the region. No country in the world can embark on a meaningful economic agenda without peace. That's why we supported always all endeavors for peace in Afghanistan. We wish peace among an entire neighborhood of Pakistan. And that is where we fully share the agenda, philosophy, and struggle of the great icon of human rights, Nelson Mandela. Excellency, human rights must be respected everywhere. And in that, we had always supported the cause of human rights everywhere in the world. The most important thing which remains on our immediate agenda, Excellency, we would be very happy, we will be an even more colorful dress than this one when you visit us in Pakistan. <laughs> we will express our pleasure in very reciprocating terms when we, when we see you in Pakistan. There's an outstanding invitation and I would reiterate, so far, COVID had stopped us. Mm -hmm. But now when luckily COVID is receding and things are improving, I would request and reiterate the invitation that already exists. Mm -hmm. Just to convey a simple message, the government and also the people of Pakistan 
they are eager to see you among themselves and likewise there are several other important very high level visits and outstanding invitations lastly let me commend you for having a real outstanding team of professionals and diplomats mm. in your department they had been working on a 24/7 co basis cooperation hand in hand on every single step of this agreement and not only every single step of this agreement but on a minute to minute basis on all issues that needed their attention through them i thank you thank you madam thank you very much uh, high commissioner and uh